Here's a message from C.J. Lovick, author of the widely popular Living Word in 3D series. Watch as he unfolds a mystery hidden just under the surface. The Garden of Eden. There are few words that so readily transport the human mind and imagination to a place more grand or mysterious. In Genesis 2, 8a, we read the following, And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And then sin entered the Garden of Eden, and Adam and Eve were evicted and never allowed to return. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if Adam and Eve had not sinned? Would they have remained in the Garden of Eden? The answer to this question is hidden in the three pictures that compose the Hebrew word Eden. Eden is composed of three Hebrew letters, Ayan, Dalet, and Nun. Ayan is pictured as an eye, and it means to see, to know, to experience, to understand. Dalet is pictured as a door, a door that opens up to a pathway. Noon is pictured as a fish, and it means life and activity. The picture translation of Eden is not hard to figure out. Eden is the place where you would open the door and enter the pathway that leads to life. When Adam sinned and chose the pathway to chaos, confusion, and death, the doorway to glorified eternal life that was in Eden was removed from the earth. Adam and Eve had been tested and found unworthy and unfit to enter into eternal life. Did the promise of a glorified body and life eternal vanish when Adam stood before the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and desired the fruit that God had forbidden? God in his great mercy has provided for you and I another tree. It is not a tree whose graceful fruit-laden boughs invite you to pluck and eat of its delicious fruit. It is a repulsive, dead, seemingly lifeless, rough tree, a tree stripped of its bark. There is no low-hanging, leafy boughs laden with delicious fruit on this rough, dead tree. Instead of the aroma of sweet fruit, this tree has the stench of death. This rude tree does not entice the eyes or enliven the taste buds. Eve looked upon the leafy, lush, beautiful tree in the Garden of Eden, and she desired to eat the forbidden fruit. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, he looks down from a leafless, dead tree, where he has willingly grasped the iron nails that secure him to that awful, wondrous place, and there he looks down on lost, wretched sinners, and he desires them. The Prince of Heaven, who created all things, humbled himself and became a man in order to display himself as an atoning sacrifice for the sins of mankind, and he did it on a lifeless tree. Yeshua HaMashiach took upon himself the sin of Adam and all Adam's children, including you and me. In 1 Corinthians 1.18, we read this, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, has become for us Eden, the only doorway to eternal life. There are literally hundreds of precious mysteries found in the ancient Hebrew. To learn more, get the book, The Living Word in 3D, Volume 1, from rockislandbooks.com. To learn more about this word and other Hebrew words, subscribe to livingwordin3d.com, and we'll send you a new word every week.